Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. It's kind of cold in the house this morning. So, yeah, thought I'd make a video. I don't really have to make a video, but I feel like making a video. And today is January the 27th, 2021. It's 10 16 in the morning here in West Michigan. It is a Wednesday morning. My wife left this morning to do errands, run around. My wife is the kind of person that just has to be moving around. She hates to just sit around. She's got to feel productive. So I am writing in my diary, as I usually do throughout my days. I'm on page 96 for the uh, year 2021. And uh, this morning I've been reading for devotions. I showed you this book, The Life of Jesus Christ, Part 1, Volume 1, Chapters 1 through 40. This was a translation, uh, the, the Viva Christa of Lofdal of Saxony, 14th century Carthusian, is the most comprehensive series of meditations on the life of Christ from the late Middle Ages. Lavnaf, I think that's how you pronounce it, Lodinaf assembles a wealth of commentary from the fathers of the church and the great medieval spiritual writers and weaves them into the seamless exposition on the gospel. This is the first full English translation of this classic work. It is, it is also the first edition in any language to identify the thousands of sources used by Lofnau, Lofmel, I can't pronounce his name, both those he quotes and many of he cites without attribution. It would be of great interest to students of Christian spirituality but is intended as was the original text for ordinary believers seeking to enter more deeply into the meaning of the life of Christ. So I have a, this, this is a four volume translation. I have the second volume in my main study and the third volume comes out next month. So I've been reading that, <coughs> drinking coffee, I got a book in the mail yesterday. I mentioned I got this book in the mail the other day, Worshiping the Reformers by Karen Mag. I got this book in the mail yesterday. This is The Theology of History and St. Bonaventure by Joseph Ratzinger, Pope Emeritus Benedictine the Sixteenth. Somebody in Booktube uh, bought some books from Clooney Media, uh, John David, and um, I'm into Catholic literature, and so I found this on the site. And I have the works of Bonaventure down in the lower level, and it looked kind of interesting looking at medieval history and looking at medieval their view of history especially so uh, Saint Bonaventure he was a Franciscan theologian in the Middle Ages last night I read before going to bed the spirit of medieval philosophy by Entine Gibson Gilson Gibson I found this at a Salvation Army last year. He also wrote uh, The Philosophy of St. Bonaventure, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think he wrote that. I have that downstairs. So I read that last night. So yeah, that's about it. I thought I'd just show you talking about medieval commentators. Uh, I just show you a couple of them. I have this series in the Song of Solomon and the Book of Isaiah, 
1 Corinthians, but I've been looking at the ones on the Gospels, and this is the Church's Bible. Uh, Matthew interpreted by early Christian commentators. And so I've been looking at this. And then he did one, the Church's Bible. John interpreted by early Christian and medieval commentators. And then I showed you the ancient Christian commentary on scripture. This is on the Gospel of Mark. And then I showed you the Reformation commentary in scripture. This is on the Gospel of Luke. So when I'm looking at the life of Christ, and I'm right now I'm in the life of Christ where the, the announcement of the birth of John the Baptist and who was the forerunner for the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. So I've been looking at it in Luke, in the Reformation commentary, uh, looking at Mark, the Gospel of Mark, the Gospel of John, and uh, this church's Bible, and then Matthew. I have all these in my main study here on the first floor. Down on the lower level, I have countless commentaries on the Gospels, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I just showed, I got this book a couple weeks ago. I bought it from InterVarsity. It was on sale. Johannian Theology, the Gospel, the Epistles, and the Apocalypse by Paul A. Rainbow. So these are the kind of things I'm looking at and this morning as I try to wake up to a new day. Outside this morning it's sunny but cold in the 20s. There's snow on the ground. And yeah, I'm just writing in my diary, reading my books, just drifting on the death flow, waiting out the day. Not much else going on. I did read when I got this in the mail yesterday. I read this late afternoon into the evening hours and then I read The Spirit of Medieval Philosophy. I read the chapter on love and its object and also the chapter on the Middle Ages. Middle Ages what was it the philosophy Middle Ages in history? I don't have anything else coming in the mail this month. I don't really plan to go anywhere today. I don't really feel like leaving the house. I just feel like reading and meditating on the life of Christ and uh, looking at my commentaries. On Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of John, the Gospel of Mark, and the Gospel of Luke. I, to me, I always tell people, if you're going to buy commentaries on the Gospels, get a wide variety. Get like the Reformation commentary on Luke. Get... Uh, something like uh, something modern, something old. <laughs> I mean, there are there are some good commentaries from the 19th century, 18th century, 17th century. Commentaries probably are more in the modern period. Now, there. Wait a minute. There's always been. Christians who have written commentaries throughout church history. And uh, that's why, I, one reason why I got this is because he quotes from all these uh, ancient and medieval commentaries or uh, sermons or homilies on the Gospels or on the life of Jesus Christ. So uh, that's why, one reason why a lot of these things that he quotes in here I've never been translated into English or now available to me because I don't know Latin, I don't know Greek, I don't know Hebrew, I don't know uh, German or French or Spanish. So 
this is really a great to have because he quotes from all these different sources that I, are not available to me. I just thought I'd stop by. It's been a day since I made a video. I just thought I'd just rap or ramble or just talk about what I'm reading this morning as I drink coffee and write in my diary, wait out my days. So I hope you're having... Uh, there's something else I wanted to say. I've been noticing that I get an email saying I got a comment on a video. And I go to the video and I can't find the comment below the video. For some reason, I get comments that are not visible underneath my videos. Even though I get an email and I can read the comment, I can't respond to it in my YouTube channel. And I don't know why that is. So if I've missed your comments or I have not responded, it's just because I can't find it <laughs> underneath my video to respond. So I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what the problem is. So I hope you're having a good week. I do thank you for the comments. I thank you for the new subscribers and do pray that you're all doing well during this COVID-19 plague. And uh, hopefully as the year progresses, they'll get, they'll figure out about this vaccine and or whatever, what to do. In the meantime, stay safe, wear a mask, Keep social distancing, stay home if you're sick, and pray. So I'll sign off. Have a good rest of the week. Bye.